Stay a while and listen. Hello, welcome back to the Freak Show. Bumpy Mix Quickums here. I want to thank you all for joining me as I continue with my Let's Play of Disgaea Complete. One PS4 thing. It's Disgaea 1 Complete on the PS4, guys and gals. Anyhow, I just got done with the live stream. It was fantastic. I did my unboxing on the live stream. So it's not going to be like super professional great. I didn't get to set up everything that I wanted to set up. But you guys will still get to see all the cool stuff that came with the Rosen Queen edition of Disgaea 1 Complete. And I'm pretty stoked. Also, I uh, went and did a couple of leveling ups. I did a bunch of stuff, actually, on the live stream. As you can see, Etna jumped a massively huge amount of levels. And it's a lot of it's thanks to the Testament here. If you look, our statistician is at 238. She has pulled massively away. We did, um, if you remember the mission where the first time we fought Flan, it was replaced by a zombie. Flan was, Flan was replaced by a zombie. And they had the 150% experience gain uh, tiles. Essentially, I threw half the map on each side onto one spot. So Super Zombie level 650, and then a Super Mushroom on the other end. And when I killed the first Super Zombie at level 650, Etna went from 128 to 140. My jaw dropped. I was floor. I was like, did she just go up two levels or did she just go up 12? I thought I said 128, but there's no way she went up 12. She went up 12 levels. And then the next time I killed him, she went up another 11. And then she went up nine. So, yeah, it's crazy how much the Testament's uh, st statistician is doing. We also got an arms master, and I just finished up another item. I basically leveled up the, pr the Pravda necklace here. And I stole the gladiator off of it. So a few more stats here for Arzla. She also has a new sword. And if we take a look again back over at the testament, it also has a gladiator, which is 120% damage increase, I believe. So, or sorry, attack increase. So yeah, it's pretty good. So anybody that we're going to start leveling up, we're going to throw this bad boy on them. They're going to level up much quicker. We even have the arms master unlocked. It's good stuff, guys and gals. It's good stuff. Anyway, with our newfound power, I feel like we're probably about ready to go and do some more cool stuff. So, we are going to go do some more cool stuff. That's that's pretty much it. I'm going to buy real quick. I'm going to buy a Bloody Mary, but I'm also going to buy something else. I'm going to buy... No, I, I need a, a good healing one. Flan or higher. Even Flan's a little low for me at this point. But we'll grab a couple Flan. And I want the... It's not the teriyaki. What is it? Eclair. That's what I need. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and play around with our inventory just real quick. Essentially, what I need is those things for going and fighting the stuff that we're going to go and fight here. Alright, the Eclair can replace this. The Flan can replace that. This Flan can do that. This one can go here. And yeah, we're good. We also got a decent staff. It's a rare staff, and it might even be better than what Courtney's using now. No, it's not. Uh, but better than what Star is using, probably. 306 with 33 resistance versus 333 with 86 resistance. It's a little bit better. So we'll take that, and then we'll go and throw this one on Gwen. Actually, we're going to take it off Gwen. We're going to put it on... Wow, Tamlin's got the worst staff ever. What? She's already a boss with, like, the worst ever. All right, we're... Okay, that's fine. We're doing that. that that's the thing. Okay. And we're going to do the promotion exam. That's essentially what this whole setup has been about. So we're going to promote to the next level. I guess we can do it? And then we're going to hop in, and we're going to do the, whatever the next level is. Maybe the last level of Edna Mode? I don't know. Either way, I'm stoked, I'm fired up, I'm ready. Let's do this. And, ugh. Ugh. I'm loving. I'm loving this guy, guys. I'm, I'm so, I'm so amped up. After opening my box, finally, I've had it for a few days. I'm pretty happy. Got the Etna mouse pad. I got the printy coasters. I got two different posters. I got an art book for all the Disgaea characters, uh, the main characters, the generic characters, like the gunner and stuff that you can create. A lot of the enemies, there's some, like, doodles and stuff in there of, like, the zombies and all the monster creatures. I got a little comic book for... It's got the face of the Tractatus de Monstrum from... Oh, what is that game called? Labyrinth of Refrain, Coven of Dusk. 
and it's a little comic book based off of that stuff. A whole bunch of stuff. I got pins, both the uh, Defenders of Justice and the main characters from Disgaea, like Laharl, Etna, Flan, and I think uh, Vyres is there and somebody else. So a whole bunch of stuff. A pretty pin, of course. It's it's cool. I got a little square printy plushie. I got my wife got me for my uh, for our anniversary. She got me a little printy plushie too. So I have two printies now. It's uh it's awesome. I'm so happy. All right, some more of you. Level 150. Oh uh, yeah, I don't I don't really see you guys being that big of an issue for me. I mean, maybe I'm wrong. But I feel, I feel pretty good about this. We're going to go with the asteroid drop going this way. Not going to be enough. Oh, and I have the animations off again. Um, I guess I can turn them back on. I'm not sure what I'll do. I'll probably leave them on in the future. And I'll, I'll do a, a quest, uh, like, a, like a poll, or I'll, I'll ask you guys uh, later on into the... Like, oh, we're, we're super strong in comparison. Evil healing. Basically, I'll see if you guys want the animations turned off to get through the stuff a little quicker. We'll see. Well, I mean, if you guys are just gonna chill there, I mean, I am all about just dropping asteroids on you guys. Like, that's totally okay with me. So essentially, you didn't see this animation. You just saw us zip away. Same thing with movement. We don't actually walk anywhere. We just teleport, basically. Oh my god, that item is just leveling us up like fiends. It's crazy. And not to mention, we're actually legitimately strong. Like, putting it on the item that I put it on is was, a, in my opinion, my opinion, which is all the opinion that ever really matters, uh, it was a stroke of genius. It really was. I truly feel like it was the best possible thing that I had at the time that I could put it on. And I can still take it off and move it to something else if I have to, or want to, ever down the road. It's something that gives us plus to all stats, so it's 100% something I want on for every character will benefit from this thing. So, it's good. It's really good. Alright, you removed, friend. I'm gonna end you now, just, just so you know. Our promotion exam went quite well, I dare say. Avalanche for the win. Thank you for stopping by. Toodles. Oh, whoa, you lived through that. Okay, I'm, I'm mildly impressed. He's gonna do his cast swarm again, huh? Right, that's cool. That's cool, I don't mind. You do you, buddy. You do you. Alright, Avalanche. Go. Theoretically, this will be the last of it. We'll see. And he is put down. Sweet, sweet, nice. Alright, what are we looking at now? Do we unlock any cool stuff? We can still get promoted further? Jeez. Alright, I don't think I'm ready for that yet. Maybe, but I don't think so. Nothing really changed. Uh, we already have the Mysterious Seal in the alternate netherworld. Well, I mean, I guess that's fine. Um, maybe we have better standing with uh, the Senators? I'm not sure. Leaning yes, strongly against, strongly against, strongly for, leaning no, total support no, love against. Um, it's still a pretty mixed bag. There's some loathes in there still that I'm gonna have to eventually overcome. It's fine. It's fine. We have a lot of mana. We should be able to start doing, like, transmogrification, all sorts of stuff to get ourselves into a better spot. But that is neither here nor there. We have 1.2 million we're able to work with now, and we're going to head to the next place. The Grand North. This is where we were supposed to go to face off against... Was it Madeiras? I think it was. We came so far. 
Yeah, we did. Madeira should be around here somewhere. That wuss. Where's he hiding? As long as my memories are safe, I don't really care. Hey. Uh oh. This feeling. She's gonna have another memory. Why? Why did you kill him? <laughs> that dog tried to get into the food storage. It's his own fault. What? I had no choice. Come on, let's go. Why did you? You were so weak. Idiot. Ah, so here you are. Hey, it's King Krescoy. How are you doing? Are you getting used to your new home? Huh. Is something wrong? It's nothing. It's just some noble demon killed this dog. But it's okay. I won't go hungry anymore. Kinda glad. You should be true to your heart. You're sad, aren't you? It does appear that she is, yes. Huh? You don't have to pretend to be strong. Yeah, you don't have to pretend. You're kind of strange. You didn't have to dig a grave for it. <laughs> Am I? Yes. You're not like other demons. And inviting a commoner like me to stay at the Overlord's castle is unheard of. Do you believe that nobles should reign over everyone else? Does being a noble or a commoner or even a demon or an angel really matter? Is our discrimination necessary? Should we not strive for a world where everyone is treated equally, despite their class or species? Fair enough. You're really strange. <laughs> but if you're going to make the netherworld a better place, I want to help you do it. Aww. I promise to make the netherworld a better place to live. Well, there you go. Was that a part of my memory? Why? I haven't gotten my memories back from Medeiros yet. Did some of my memories stay with me? It feels like I'm forgetting something important. I'm forgetting a lot of important things. Miss Edna! Blah! Don't shout so close <laughs> to me! We're surrounded by enemies! Be careful! Eh, surrounded's not really an accurate term, but that's okay. Alright, what are we what are we rocking here? What do we got? Level two hundred. I've been through worse. Eh, it doesn't look all that impressive. Watch, we'll get destroyed by these guys. They have a lot of health, though. The last few people only had a few thousand. These guys are uh, a bit tankier. Alright, Etna. Let's get moving on this. Okay, simple and easy. Good half of his HP gone. Alright, let's see how Arzla does with her new sword. Ooh, it's sharp and spiky looking. Alright, the Knight Sever has been leveled up a bit too, so hopefully it does a significant amount of damage now, as opposed to the underwhelming amount of like 100. Still not super impressive, is it? Um, I think Bolt Storm might be enough. Thousand, not enough. Well, that's unfortunate. All right, Courtney, what do you got for us? Uh, ice and wind. All right, star magic it is. And that should leave a mark. At least kill one of them. That wasn't too bad. Alright, we got Antros. He's about to do some uh, maneuvers here. The King of Beasts. Knock you over that way. But yeah, it looks like this is still going to be pretty tough. I probably... Well, I was hoping to get Etna at around like 150 and we ended up going a little bit overboard on that. And then I was going to switch, but then I'm like, ah, oh, we're going to go into the item world. So things got a little changed from my original plan. And here we are. That's that's what happens. That is what happens. Cut. 
All right, wind cutter. Fairly sizable chunk of damage. Um, I don't think it's going to do that much damage. Alright, what else we got? One there. She can do some work. Uh, we'll do the drop over here. Now we'll see what happens. What do we have? Oh, they're all coming. So there's going to be a Zompocalypse coming our way. He's going to take his own people out. Zombie Gatling gun? No? Ooh. He got through him. Okay. A little bit unexpected. So what we're going to do is we're going to lift up old Balder... No, me and Dorf. Toss you over there. We go ahead and we are going to, once again, drop the star from the sky and do the damage. And it's going to do hurt. It's going to be pretty good. And yeah, they're, they're not they're not feeling super good now. All right, so that's cool. Put you over here. Mm. Move out of the way. Move, I guess there-ish. Drop the Osagi on them. One of them dies for sure. Well, four, she needs some healing. We all kind of need a little bit of something. Alright, well, what if we do this? Should put you within the kill range. And then we're just going to have to deal with the other guy when the time comes. I had a whole lot more of zombies coming our way. I'm not sure we have the strength for this. I thought we might, especially with Etna being as powerful as she is now, but I'm starting to doubt it, guys and gals. I'm starting to doubt whether we have the power of the heat to do it. She's just leveling like a fiend. There's no stopping her at this point. Oh, I don't know. I think I can still throw a heal from here, and I gave her a decent staff at this point, too, so her heal should really, really do well. She has some pretty lame staves in the past. I don't know if that's much better. I think the healing's based off of resistance, so it might not really be all that much more impressive. I also think I'm going to try to limit your ability to get away, so how am I going to do that? I'm going to put Leo right here. I'm going to punch you. You're going to punch him. He's going to punch you. Oh, he, he actually dodged something. That's that's a miracle in and of itself. Alright, so we're going to end the turn. Just dodge, man. Just bob and weave. You'll be alright. Yikes. Come on. Eh, you survived. It's it's a thing. Yeah. Maybe not the, the most impressive. Well, it wasn't too bad. Um, for the big heal. Uh. 
I'm still concerned that dude's just sitting up top just looking at me. Dodge it. Oh, I didn't dodge it. Punch him back. Far less impressive the second time around. I'm not gonna lie. Seriously, you're still alive? What? I don't really have the time for that. I guess I'll just do Mega Star, drop it on your head. Call it a day. If I could have just done Star and killed you, it's fine. A little bit of over overkill. That's that's okay. They're just chilling up there. They're not really moving at us. I'm okay with that for now, but I'm very concerned with what that means in the future. All right. Well, I'm gonna move here. Drop this. Did some damage. Um. I really wish we had a mage that was over the wall. It's, it's it's on our to-do list. That is definitely on our to-do list. Lands roar. I don't think it's enough. I mean, he does okay damage, but that's one of the skills that we don't use all that often, so... Again, a little underwhelming. Eh. That's it, isn't it? Yeah, that's that's everybody. All right, well, let's see what the fallout's gonna be. Okay, he'll counter and he'll counter. Zombie twister. Okay, after the healer, it's fair. Thankfully, it wasn't enough. She'll counter, and she will counter as well. One, two, three. Oh, he didn't double counter. Oh. Well, I expected the double counter there. That That's actually surprising. Mm. Well, he's stuck, so that's interesting and good, I suppose. I think I can go there. Execute. I don't want to end the turn. Okay. We cleared the path. She leveled up. Fantastic. Move we'll you here. Get you to splash a good old heal on all of us. Yeah. Keep us strong. I think I can hit both of them with uh, some hate too. Mega Star is enough. Not sure we'll get a kill. We'll do about a thousand at least. Possibly more. I mean, we're leveling up slightly each and every time. Oh, well, we only did a thousand to one of them. Alright, Hurricane. What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Good, good chunk of damage. Alright, good. Uh, wind cutter. Let's take care of this. Uh-huh. A little bit of, uh, help from a plein air. 84 for him, 104 for her. Slowly but surely, we are getting more and more strong. And I believe Etna's got this one in the bag. 
Goodbye, Senior Zombie. Dead. Very nice. Uh, is that everyone? It is not everyone. We still have a little bit more that we can do, and I think we will have to utilize that. Again, I was a bit concerned. I did quite a bit of damage. I'm, I'm starting to like rapid fire a bit more. It's still not my favorite. But I'm liking it a little bit more. I think I'm just gonna throw you further away so you can't actually hit us. Ah, oh, they came out their podiums. Oh boy. Planar's toast. I think a lot of people are gonna die here. Maybe she has enough to survive? I, I doubt it. Nope. This is gonna leave a mark. Woo! Well, that was unfun. Alright, friend. Wanna we'll go that route? Fine, we'll go that route. See what you like with the giant ice queen of doom with the sword of death coming to fall right on your head. Pew, 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 pew. Take that for your cannonball shenanigans. And done. It's not done. It's hurt though. He's medium hurt. He's not done. He's about to be done, though. We're about to go ahead. You know what? I want to check your status. You gotta be 14 and some change. Yeah, you're almost up to 15 getting the Night Sever yourself. Pretty stoked about that. I do not like playing second fiddle to a girl. No, I don't, I don't care. Because um, I'm not real thrilled about not being one of the strong... Well, I mean, we are. We're the top four, right? I mean, we're still pretty darn strong. Alright, Wind Cutter. Let's take you on. Three of them decided to go after plein air. And they barely dropped her. I'm not thrilled with the, how that all went down, but... I suppose it's fine. Oh, Etna. So he's gonna basically move to where Etna is. Alright, special... King of Beasts. Triple strike up to well it's not triple strike, it's like a, a ten hit combo. Thirteen thousand. Thirteen hundred, sorry. Uh then we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna avalanche. And we're gonna do three point three K. I think we pull three point six. I think we might be able to pull three six. Let's see. Three three. Eh. Is what it is. Alright, let's get you out of harm's way, because you have so much HP to work with. Alright, the zombie is back. Oh, still not enough to get out of harm's way. She's dead. Alright, Courtney, we'll bring you back. Uh. Oh, hit Edna. And Katie, I guess? Edna was residual damage here. It's collateral. I know what it is. Well played. Well played. Too high for the wind cutter? Yep. It's also okay, cause... Don't worry. We'll make it work. I feel like we've done significantly better this time, but at the same time, you look at the current situation, it doesn't look like we're doing much better. Even with the super overpowered Edna. Granted, Edna's like way, way stronger. 
So, despite our current situation, it's not as bad as it seems. Okay. So, we put him over there with 800 damage thrown on top. I'm gonna be a little bit sad because I think he's outside. Oh, no, they're inside the range. I think he's outside the range of my wind cutter. Oh, he lived through it. Son of a penguin. Almost no HP. I can't let that stand. I'm gonna have to do an, an asteroid drop, and I don't want to. It's kind of like a mic drop, only with a lot more impact and death. Just saying. Alright, there we go. Let's end our turn. Our final four are... Still standing tall. I feel like Planair's one of the final four, but she's not here. So it looks like Antros gets to take over that position when Planair is uh, down and out in Delaware, so to speak. Okay, so that's a thing that happened. Go ahead and we will wind cut you. Should put you in kill range for Etna. You're not already there. Oh, you were already there. Uh, that puts you in kill range for her, actually. Fairly certain she can do it with the never, the night sever, or the never sever of ever bever, whatever, ever, never. I got nothing. She should, right? She can do 14. She's got a new sword. She got that crazy necklace thing. I'm confused. Wait, what? Didn't the number that popped down there say 1152 or 57 or something? We had to do 1400. Did she do two instances of damage and I just missed it? I didn't look at the, like, the total damage. You know how it keeps the counter in the bottom left? I didn't look at that, but it did not look like she did enough damage. I guess all the slashes up top counted and then when he, she hit, or when the guy hit the ground, she did like another slash and maybe that was the second attack. I don't know. Either way, there's one enemy remaining at this point. And I am pretty sure we've got this guy on lockdown. Okay. You're going for broke. You're trying to do the most damage you can before you go down. That's an admirable approach. I'll give you that. Do we have enough for the triple? We do not. It's fine. You just get punched in the face again. You just made my... My damage increased one and a half times, I I guess you could say. Alright, oh, I don't have enough to do it again. Oh, I was going to say, alright, we're going to watch this time, but nope. No, we're not. We're not going to watch. We don't have what it takes to watch. Oh, there's still a dude left. Oh, I thought this was it. This isn't even it. There's more. Okay. Alright, that's fair. Surprise! Unexpected, to say the least. Okay. Oh, Bumpy's at 99. Or 99. That's that's not cool. All right. Let's get this underway. You coming? Nope. Oh boy. There's no way this ends well, is there? All right, let's go with the avalanche. We'll do a, a fairly decent amount of damage this way. We break 3k. We do, but just barely. And that puts him at what, like 6,000? Oh, only 4,500. Oh, we've got this. Etna alone's got this. Yeah, I know. I knew Arzla was going to go down. As soon as I put her up there, I'm like, if he can move... She's going to die. Oh, she didn't die. Okay, I was totally wrong, and I will accept that. That's hilarious. Get handled. And good luck killing me. I am over here now. Surprise!
Well, this is an unfortunate reality. Alright, it's fine. We'll do the Chaos Impact. It's still a pretty high level skill. It should still do over 2,000. It's meant for a multitude of enemies. We can use it on a single enemy. I've done it in the past. I'll do it again. 2,200. You die on the next turn, friend. Enjoy your last. That might even have been it right there. It was it. Greed. The greed. Oh, there's more. Okay. Well, I mean, we're getting uh, we're getting more than I thought we were going to get out of Etna mode. I'm pretty happy about that. It's also mildly frustrating, too, because I'm like, I'm eager. I want to I wanna hop in and do other stuff, too. I want to see, like, more endgame things. And uh, I'm just, I'm fired up, guys and gals. I got the Disgaea bug. All right, so we're, we're getting there. I think when Etna hits 170, we'll probably swap her item with, um... Probably Arzla's item, get her up to like 150, and then we'll swap it for Bumpy, and so on and so forth. We'll start moving it around, spreading the love a little bit. But that's going to do it for the episode, guys and gals. It was a 36-minute one. Hope you guys enjoyed the extended cut, the extended edition, if you will. And I will see you guys in the next one as we continue to go and try to get our memories back and uh, stop Madaris. Until then, my name is Bumpy McSquiggums. Thank you for stopping by the Freak Show, and I will see you later.